And we're back to learning escape and this time I'm going to show you how to create line segments in specific angles. Another question that I've received and there are many ways to create it. Let us use the visit to a whole control and I've got this horizontally straight line and you can hold control and set the next angle in 15 degree increments. So that helps. You can also just create this line and control D. Click on it again and then you can rotate it. So if you have an angle that's not dividable by 15, you can do it like this. Or you can copy this line, Control D once again, Object, Transform and use the Rotate function. Let me just use 52 degrees for example. And then the snapping is enabled and it helps me finding this node. But the problem with these methods is, I'll show you this if I increase the width of the stroke. You can see the first line, it was one segment that we've created. The other ones are made of two lines each. So you can see when you use that method and you create these two lines and do it manually, you have to perform operations afterwards to join the nodes. So it's much easier to do it differently. Just make sure you can see your rulers, press Ctrl R if you don't. Drag these guides out of there and then double click on one. And you can set the angle for the guide right here. Let's confirm it, we are OK. And now I use the Bezier tool and follow my guides. Just like this. And now it's a 52 degree angle. And when I increase the width, you can see that I don't have to add any operations afterwards. You can create multiple guides and have all of these angles set correctly. And then just go in one step over it with the Bezier tool. And it saves you a lot of clicks and time. So this is the method that I would use to create line segments in specific angles. If there are further questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.